Hi, my name is Ziad Fayad. I'm part of the Einstein Analytics product team. Um, today, I am going to show you the download feature in Einstein Analytics. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the dashboard itself. The two options to download uh, the, the dashboard are going to be under share. And one option is as a whole image. And the other one is to click here and go to print it as essentially as a PDF. Now, the other option to download data, and this is actually the more requested or what people typically ask for as a download feature, is going to be at the widget level. So each widget um, can be downloaded. If you have the permission, I'll talk about that in the end. But essentially, if you're previewing the dashboard, uh, let's say this is an aggregated type of a widget. It's grouped by account type in this case. And if I click here on the drop down, I'll see share. And under download here, I'll see more options uh, than image, Excel, or CSV. If I click on CSV, I've done this you know, a couple of times here. And I see the data in a tabular format. Now. The other option is to um, you know download the table. In this case, I have a values table. This is this means it's not aggregated. It's pulling the data as is from the data set. So again, if I click on download here from share, also I can download this in the CSV format, and I'm gonna get the data in a tabular format to right here. Now, if you notice, or if you've done this before, you'll notice that for the values table uh, particular step, it's limited to 100 by default. So if I go here and um, actually even just in preview mode, if you notice, if I scroll down, it's going to be up to 100 right here. And the reason is uh, values table, again, because it's not grouped by, it's kind of considered a uh, uh, a more demanding step from performance perspective so by default we set it to 100 as a user you can go uh, actually as a designer of the dashboard you can double click on this or if you have access to edit the dashboard uh, one option to begin with the easy UI one is to click on this button right here and set the limit now uh, now notice that if you specify anything above 2000 you are going to get a warning message um, you can still go ahead up to 10,000 in this UI um, in this window but the warning message is essentially telling you you know it's, it could be a uh, have a query performance impact and again because values table is not aggregated not grouped by it's uh, you know um, has to do with the structure of data set so it's not really recommended um, and again, the idea is, you know, forget the download for a moment, that users, when they have values tables on the dashboard, users are pretty much not going to scroll through, you know, thousand records, right? Seeing, uh, you're looking at those rows and details. So again, you can do this manually here, um, get up to 10,000. If you put 11 here, it's going to read out. But let's say I put it 2000, which is okay, I suppose it's fine. I think I have up to 700 or something. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And now if I set update and then I go and download, it will download up to those 2000 uh, records. Okay, now, and this is pretty much from the UI perspective. Um, there is a workaround for folks who really want to download more than that. Again, this is not recommended um, or it's going to be in case by case because you got to determine, you know, from performance perspective, what you can do is go double click on the widget and go to the advanced mode, the cycle mode right here and manually increase this to, for example, let's say 20,000, right? So I'm going to run the query and now it becomes a cycle query. It's customized. And if I hit update, this will take up to uh, 20,000 and I will be able to download up to 20,000 okay um, now I have to say if you're gonna go that route I would rather recommend uh, you create um, a separate dashboard or even separate lens just for downloading purposes um, you know easiest way if you don't want to start from scratch all you have to do is just let's say explore this 
and you can take it and save it as its own um, lens and again it will have that 20,000 rows and you can actually uh, you know increase it more than that but um, you want to pay attention to um, you know the machine you run the browser itself you know if you increase this to 500,000 rows you know the browser probably is going to crash it's not going to be able to run it um, you might just want to try a little bit and see what's your um, uh, you know that that row number that's perfect for you again it's not meant uh, to download the whole data set especially if you have a million rows I mean that's not the ideal way we ideally think you're pushing data into data sets for the reason to you know use it in dashboards and uh, you know report on it not necessarily downloading data into CSVs but again I'm just showing you the different ways you can uh, work around for the download purposes um, the last thing is you want to pay attention to the permission sets you're assigning to the users um, so under uh, permission sets whatever that they let's say this is a permission set called Einstein Analytics platform admin and let me actually go back a little bit you want to if it's a user for example and you want to make sure that they have this particular uh, permission called download analytics data and in this case it's not checked so whoever has this permission set is not going to be able to download the data or see that um, you know uh, the download uh, button when you click on share I hope this was helpful remember this is as of summer 18 um, and thanks for watching the video